day, let us follow the example of her chastity. It is a martyr's birthday, let us offer sacrifices. It is the birthday of holy Agnes, let men be filled with wonder, little ones with hope, married women with awe, and they are married with emulation. It seems to me that this child, holy beyond her years and courageous beyond human nature, receives the name of Agnes, not as an earthly designation, but as a revelation from God of what she was to be. This was St. Ambrose's discourse on the virginity of St. Agnes, whom we celebrate today. Welcome to Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV. Today is the memorial of St. Agnes. Agnes suffered martyrdom during the bloody persecution of the Emperor Diocletian in Rome. This young girl was the youngest as she was just 12 years old and she became one of the best known and highly regarded of the Roman martyrs. Her name is still retained in the first Eucharistic prayer for Holy Mass. The Acts of the Saints' Passion, which date back only to the 5th century, are considered to be not entirely reliable, but they do tell us something about her. The young noblemen of Rome, attracted by her wealth and beauty, vied with one another endeavoring to obtain her hand in marriage but she refused them all saying that she had chosen a spouse who could not be seen with mortal eyes her suitors in hope of shaking her constancy accused her of being a christian saint agnes was brought before a judge and she remained unswayed by either his kindness or his threats Fires were kindled, instruments of torture were placed before her eyes, but immovable in her constancy, she surveyed them with heroic calmness. She was sent to a house of prostitution, but the sight of her inspired such awe that not one of the wicked youths of the city dared approach her. One bolder than the others was suddenly struck with blindness and fell trembling. This youthful saint came from the den uncontaminated in mind and body and still a pure spouse of Christ. Her most prominent suitor was so enraged that he incited the judge still more against her. The heroic virgin was condemned to be beheaded but she went to the place of execution, says St. Ambrose, more cheerfully than others go to their wedding. And so amid the tears of the spectators, the instrument of death fell, and St. Agnes went to meet the immortal spouse whom she had loved better than her life. She was buried on the Via Nomentana, and Constantine erected a church in her honor. Agnes maintained her virginity and sanctity until death in 304, proclaiming her faith in the Lord with great heroism. Saint Agnes is the patron saint of purity. Dear friends, like that of modern Maria Goretti, the martyrdom of a virginal young girl made a deep impression on a society enslaved to a materialistic outlook. Like Agatha who died in similar circumstances, Agnes is a symbol that holiness does not depend on the length of years, experience or human effort. It is rather a gift of God and he offers it freely to all. Let us pray. All powerful and ever-living God, 
You choose the weak in this world to confound the powerful. As we celebrate the anniversary of the martyrdom of St. Agnes, we pray that we, like her, would remain constant in faith. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi Television Network. Happy Feast Day to you all, especially all those who go by the name Agnes. Oh.